<laughs> I don't know why everyone thinks sex is so great. <laughs> You meet these people on the street, don't you just love sex? You meet these annoying people. So, I mean, you know, on paper, sex, wonderful. On my television screen, on my phone, sitting in the bathroom at work, I love watching sex. Right. Beautiful. Beautiful on TV, on the computer, on my cellular telephone, in the bathroom at work. That's wonderful. The real thing, the real thing, not for me. My cup of tea. What can I say? You know? You can tell I'm a very high shrunk guy, right? I can't relax. I can't relax to the entire act, you know? It's just like, don't come, don't come, don't come, don't come, sorry. Then you come. You come. You come. The girl didn't come, right? The girl didn't come. They never come. Seems like they never come. Hey, ladies, why don't you try coming during sex? Maybe you have a better time, huh? You think I wanted to come early? Let me save you some set suspense. I didn't. I didn't want to come early either. And it doesn't even feel physically good, little known fact. It doesn't feel physically good when you come early. Plus, I'm the one that's gonna drive home alone that same night, you know? Quit whining. <laughs> I got this friend, Candace, my best friend, my platonic friend, very beautiful woman, very beautiful, good friend of mine, platonic friend, beautiful woman. And I asked her to fuck me, she said no, so she's my platonic friend. She should get, get a beautiful platonic friend, it's a very fulfilling relationship, it's really wonderful. You go out to dinner, you want to fuck them the whole time, and then you don't. <laughs> but um, she, she said she created a sex playlist on Spotify, a fuck playlist, a playlist of fuck songs to listen to while she had sex. She asked me to look it over and see if I had any suggestions for the playlist. I'm like, all right, I'll take a look at it, best platonic friend. <laughs> Took a look at the playlist. It's got 35 songs on it. 35 songs. I'm like, yeah, I got a suggestion for you. Delete 33 of these songs. You need two songs. Two, two and a half top. Two of your fucking David Duke Company. Delete this shit. And keep Crazy Bitch by Bunk Cherry and Lit Up by Bunk Cherry. Delete that. Everyone's voting so much. You notice there's people always out there voting? It's voters. Annoying. Very annoying to me. It's voting, right? I'm gonna go out and make my voice heard. Why? You know nothing. Right? You're, you're an idiot. Look at our president. You're a fucking idiot. If you voted, you're a fucking idiot, right? I voted twice in my life. I voted twice for president of the United States. I voted for Ralph Nader, so I crumpled my vote up and threw it into the scene. And I voted in the Democratic primary, I voted for Bernie Sanders, so I crumpled my vote up and threw it into the scene. Twice. Great. What a great experience that was. But here's the thing that they don't tell you about voting. I, I didn't know this. When you go vote for president, they make you vote for 20 other fucking things too. I had no idea. I'm going there, it took me like... 15 minutes to vote. The only person I knew was the president. And then all of a sudden, after like 12 minutes, I find myself voting for county coroner. County coroner. You know what the county coroner is? It's, do you know what it is? It's an autopsy guy. The guy who does autopsies. Do you know that we elect that freak? It's an elected office. You should be electing county coroners. It should be nominated in a candlelit ceremony. You know? <laughs> Rose with big hoods, you dip a Bible in blood, and... <laughs> Why am I even trusted to vote for the county court? Like, what the fuck? What criteria would you use to make that vote? Who's got the best equipment? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> You know, debate? Could you imagine that? A county corner debate? Huh. Oh, I promise not to have sex with the corpses after the procedure. Oh, I promise not to have sex with the corpses before the procedure. What? Both shitty Kennedys. 
But you vote for the one that fucks them after the procedure for the accuracy of the results, right? I'm gonna tell you about your fucking shoes on the stage. I'm gonna tell you. Jeez, I'm just kidding, you can of course put them up. You're a tall drink of water, very attractive. Good. I like that guy, he's good. I'm not complimenting you, I'm complimenting him.